about the other day. You're fine. A couple of stitches, you know. My fucking temper, you know. No, 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 no. It's okay, really. Thank you. Uh, thanks. Look, Tone, I don't remember slamming the refrigerator door. But Carlo told me, and my dad, never should have raised my hands to you. I'm sorry. As long as you realize. Huh? Vito! What the fuck you doing? Tony's looking for you. For me? <laughs> He's been calling for fucking days. My goddamn phone. Jesus. Everything all right? You tell us. I'm good. Tell Tony I'll call him. It's better you come in. Sure. You go ahead and I'll follow you. I'll just leave him these. He said he'd be back from Vegas today. I don't know. You want Vito? How's things going with you guys? We have our ups and downs. And, uh, in the romance department. Excuse me? What's this all about? It's awkward. No offense, I really don't want to talk about this. Vito's a good father and a loving husband. But his mind is elsewhere. He takes these unexplained powders. He's got a Gumar. I know all about it. There's nothing. Forget about it. You hear from him? Tell him I brought him. Blood, sweat, and tears tickets. Backstage passes, too. I'm telling you, my business, I'm around a lot of women. That one ain't getting laid. I don't want to fall, asshole. Fuck you, motherfucker. What are you sucking his dick? Put him on. I better I kick your ass, you fucking faggot. Yeah, that's right. Telephone tough guy. Put Vito on the phone. Look, there ain't no Vito, man. I found the phone on the side of the road. What? Hang on a second. Where'd you find the phone? Hello? Hello? Oh, you motherfucker. What happened? 